Hi guys, and thanks so much for watching today and tuning into my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Hope, and don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe bell so you get more videos from me. I do just about everything on my channel, and I try to narrow it down, but it's tough because I like some of everything. But this video is going to be about my scrapbooking area and if you've seen the video on my planner corner thanks so much for watching that video and I'm going to do this vlog style this section here is I can yeah I say my scrapbook area or paper crafting more so area and then to my left I'm not ready yet my little corner um, I will show the before um, when I get to that corner, it's going to be like my crafting corner, like my DIYs and stuff like that. So I'm breaking this up into sections. And yeah, so if you didn't see the planner corner video, I'll make sure I'll link it in the card uh, above and in the description box below. And if I add anything new in the corner, then I will, or in any area, I will make sure I will share that in a video um, kind of I guess collective <laughs> as I do that and I'll try to remember the different changes the other thing I have a little stool here I wanted this stool that was in the spring collection at Michael's I was going to put that in the hall and I haven't had a chance to do that as of yet and then I want to put some shelves some corner shelves up here for some stamps I think stamp stamps so I haven't put that up yet but I'll show you guys that eventually so let's start over here I have my scrapbooking card I have a um, planner card that's right here that's right here and then I have a scrapbooking card and I haven't went through that and sort of, it's sort of organized but I'll show that in a separate video but if you just see that there that's why it's there my curtains I did get some compliments on that thank you guys those are from Tuesday morning they are a little long because I just um, it probably should have went up to the ceiling and I just put them up there maybe one day I'll change the rod the height is fine with me but change the rod out to something lighter or it might be just easier to paint seem like I paint everything so yeah so let's start right here this is my craft table and I'm sitting here stepping on stuff um, my craft table because it is a mess um, my desk sort of a mess but um, it's a mess going you know behind me and everywhere else so my desk I got questions when I posted this on uh, Instagram and Facebook I got it from walmart.com they I'll make sure I link it below and they did have this in white but I kept dragging my feet and it was a higher price at the time and now I think it's like 147 you can DIY your desk I have thought about that but I wanted something that was thick and sturdy I didn't have to go to the hardware store and find somebody to cut stuff which I've my very not my very first desk but I remember growing up my mom made us a desk out of um, crates and we got one that way my brother had a desktop that was a little different from mine because they just didn't have it in stock that day and we had to sand it and all that and I just didn't want any rough edges so what I did guys um, this comes in a dark finish so I had to do like two coats of the Waverly um, paint and I'll show you guys that in one second and this color is plaster so um, on the side over here I'll show is cubes I still have to paint the inside another coat so it is a pretty good size I wanted a large work surface and on the reviews a lot of people did buy two of them because they did they wanted the table for sewing or whatever and if I ever decide I'm gonna work with one first like my mom suggested um, I probably will turn it um, this way and add another table but I have to see how much space I'm working with when I finish my craft area because doing large DIY projects um, it takes up a lot of space and like for weddings and flowers and stuff and I need a large work surface for that because when I'm downstairs it's just a pure mess downstairs so I needed something upstairs so let me show you um, it has like and here is the sides it has cubicles there 
and I need to shampoo my car because my boys was in here and I'll do that when I'm done with everything because I'm painting and so forth and six cubicles I did buy some cubicles off of Amazon they didn't fit but they weren't perfect in Josiah's room to organize his toys which I did this week so this little flower arrangement I did pick this up from Marshall's and I like that I think it was like let's see if the price still on it here $14.99 uh oh so I thought that would be great I need a bigger cutting board um not quote cutting mat here crafting mat but this is going to do for now and then my chair I got my chair from Target from target.com and it is really really comfortable I believe it was about um, 67 dollars something like that and they have it different colors and so forth but I thought it was so um, neat with the blush pink so pretty and then also on my desk I have these um, here's some more cubicles here or and I think I'm not gonna put like um or shelves here I'm not going to put like drawers in them or anything the little pull out drawers I'm just gonna leave this open for like if I need to put flowers in here or whatever but I have a little trash can and I'll put it on this side so you guys wouldn't see the disaster behind me yet and um, so the trash can will go on the other side I got the trash can from five below let's lift it up from five below and I thought it was perfect to go with my um, little color scheme in here and it was five dollars everything in five and five below is five dollars or below and that would be for my scraps and so forth so over here I have a Octa um, light Oct light or whatever you call it Oct, Oct light and then I have some Ray Dunn um, items and I was gonna get the carousel from Marshall's not Marshall's Michaels but I end up just getting these Ray Dunn from Marshall's <laughs> so this is right and I think this one says let's see uh, what does it say stash I have my hand all in it and then this um, pencil holder they had one that said dream I didn't get that one it says edit focus and think so so those are super cute and these were $4.99 the Ray Dunn so I didn't even know Ray Dunn had a smaller print like this you can tell I don't know too much about Ray Dunn okay guys so I hope the lighting didn't change too much I had to go to the doctor and um I was trying to hurry up and get back home before the lighting, but it looks like it's getting ready to rain or something. And I wanted to get this video out before spring break is over because it seems like during the week it's tough for me to get um, get videos out. So let's get started. I think I showed you guys my desk already. The cart, the cart I will show in a separate video. Yeah, once I get that organized. Okay, on the wall, the angel wings, I had them differently. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, they were more together. And I didn't, I wanted them, I'm not quite sure. This may change. But I got those from Michaels. They were 60 or 70% off. And I really wanted those. I wanted, they had some similar or some wood ones last year. And I missed out on those. But I really wanted to get those. It was around Christmas time. And I'm glad I got those. And I got those to symbolize um, my angel babies. If you've been on my channel for some time. And that's the main reason why I started my channel. And I had a couple of miscarriages after, after I had JJ. And then um, I had a stillborn baby bef um, after JJ before I had Saya. So, um those are my angel wings and then also for my grandparents all of them are living all my pater maternal grandfather he's still living my grandmothers and my paternal grandfather passed away and they were a big part of my life and especially the things that I love to do they really are with crafting and cooking and they were just great role models anyway 
So all things I can, all things I, all things, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. This came from Kirkland, and this was in the hallway. If you've seen my hallway video, and I absolutely love this. They may still have it. I don't know, guys, but this is my favorite scripture when I always felt scared that I couldn't do anything. And so um, the colors, everything, I just love. And so I wanted to, I just set put that in the middle and that raised the angel wings up and then I peeled gently off all of the little butterfly decals and I feel like the butterflies represent um, the person who I'm growing into more myself more comfortable with myself um, not caring what other people think um, with the big things with the little things whatever in life and blossoming, blossoming into um, a more mature hope so, um, yeah, so if I find these again at Dollar Tree, I'm going to pick up at least two more packs um, just to have. Okay, so moving on down, I picked finally one of these mini light boxes up. I think that's what they call them from, and I finally put some words in it from Michaels, the Heidi Swap. And this little, um, what do they call Cyclops thing. JJ made this years ago and I found it going through some stuff and I didn't want to toss it because you don't want to toss things no matter what it looks like. And Jason was like, well, if he remembers what it is and when he did it and keep it. So I just set it up there. And then this is just a little um, washi box. If you guys can see that. Um, I have too many of them and they were like on clearance at Michael's so I thought I would just stick that up there to give it some height. This little hope thing, I think it's supposed to hold like a satchel. I don't know if I talked about this before. And I need to learn to take stickers off. Like a fragrance satchel from wherever and it came from Marshalls. These roses, I love to get these around the Valentine's time they're so pretty to me and they don't look like they come from Dollar Tree so I had these somewhere else and I just made a little arrangement and then this came from the Target one spot if you shop there a lot you've seen it before it also came in white and then this is a desktop organizer you can put on your desktop or um, on your desk or you can hang it on the wall this is recollections and I can't remember how much it was guys but I noticed all of the recollection stuff from Michaels now it's $49.99, but I don't ever pay that price. I always wait till it's 60% or more off. Black Friday is a good time to get them because I think they might be 70. So I don't spend that much on them. So I don't remember if this one's a little bit lower at the time. They used to be like in different in price, like 24, 34. But I noticed the other day when I was looking for some stuff, they were all 49. Ugh, so probably because they're always on sale. So these, I still have room to grow, but I have like some glue tape in there. Here's some ribbon that I can use for scrapbooking. And some of these, um, what are these called? Um, they're like words and they're made out of wood. <laughs> they were like on clearance, so I just picked some of those up. I can label those, but right now I'm going to leave them as they are. And then they're more like wood chip die cuts this is the planner society and this was some more that were on clearance that says hello and then these were like in a alphabet soup these were in a grab bag and then here is like when I used to go hard in the dollar fifty section at Michaels so these are like some paper tags I'm trying to use this with one hand when I just drawer falling out and then some more of those chipboard signs. So you can use like in your scrapbook layouts or something like that. So I have a lot of room to grow, especially in the scrapbook area. And then here are my Heidi Swap um, mini slides. And they just say different things that I can put in this little thing up here. And like, I love you more than and so forth. Um, celebrate. This one says mini. And I think I got a lot of them at Hobby Lobby when they were marked off. And most of the time on clearance. I don't pay regular price for these. And so I did pick up a pack from Hobby Lobby that's in there now. Um, these are letters. My lighting is like super bright. But they're just the, the letters up there. You get a bunch of letters. 
and then some more sorry guys um some more of the laser cut words and stuff and a lot of this stuff i can know i can make um with my silhouette if i ever have time to sit down by the time i have time to sit down and learn my silhouette it'll be out of date um no because i really want to learn how to do that and i know i can because i'm doing like other harder stuff like trying to build a website and stuff like that and this is just a bunch of those little pieces and screws and stuff that come with the recollection boxes if you have that you know what i'm talking about so this table that this is on was i cannot remember the name of the organizer but he did a collaboration with at home with nikki and he's been on tv and stuff and it was a black desk and if you seen that video where i did the hallway i think i said the name of him i can't remember is it something walsh i can't remember guys but anyway it's it's two pieces is this piece a short piece which it makes an l and another piece for my main desk what i'll show eventually and um what i did was i think this before this is like a shoe organizer or something you can get from target i had it underneath here so yeah i had it underneath here and i only had one of the three cube organizers so normally the cube organizers are not horizontal they usually people use them or however you want to use them they use them vertically so what i did was i had two of these and i just stacked them on top and what i plan on doing is going back and painting this area here um contact paper will be pretty too but just painting that so it'll be all white and going back up here i used the shoe organizer to put my silhouette on here and then here um i showed this in a haul where these are just fridge organizers actually marshall's had these as sock organizers Turn down my lighting some. They had these as sock organizers. They're four. They're two ninety nine. I still got the price on. I need to take them off. And um, I'm going to use those. I saw where people, I think on Pinterest, were using these or on blogs for their project life. So if I want to take some of those project life cards out of those books or boxes, I can put them in here when I want to really um, um, when I get a chance to organize that. So here is just a Dollar Tree bin, and these hold all of my photos, and I have tons of photos on my camera, computer, and especially on my iPhone that I need to get off. And um, I finally purchased a hard drive on Amazon to save some videos, because I save some videos, and to take some of my pictures, like pictures when Josiah was born and stuff like that, because I haven't printed them out. So these little boxes, the best time to get these, they don't cost that much. They're like, I think $2.99 or $1.99. And if they're 50% off with an additional 20% off, 25 or 20% off, that's a great time to get these boxes because they don't cost that much at all. I was tempted to get some the other day, but Michael's sales roll around all the time. So I said, I'll just wait. And they fit really good in there. Um and i'm going to show you guys in one second what i use to print my photos out and i don't know if i can fit another one in there with my laminating machine and that came from i needed a new one aldi has a great one when they came out when they come out with theirs yearly but katrell broke it um doing a project or something he got stuff rammed in it and that's i think they're cheaper at aldi than they are anywhere else but I got that one from Target I keep my trimmer machine here trimmer not no trimmer machine trimmer there I keep going through those because I, I keep breaking those too so I try to keep those from him and then I need to this has failed so many times I finally found a home for it but I had my die cuts in here color coded like browns blues orange golds like that and i need to go back through this let me just pull it out like different die cuts that you get from different things and i had them organized and the only reason i'm taking it out and it's not organized 
is because I have this little tray that I got from because this doesn't come with it these come from Michaels and these are usually on sale all the time like 333 or whatever um, on sale yeah 333 or 3 for 10 or something like that and so this little tray came from Joann's and I don't know if they sell this all the time and I need to next time I go in there but I don't go in there a lot and these are great to section off your um, die cuts and I need to do that probably tonight I wish I had it done for this video and so now if it falls because it's done fail so many times um, besides messing if it falls then it won't go everywhere okay guys and this one I think I have my selfie Canon is it Canon no Kodak I don't know who it is but it's a selfie yeah Canon Canon printer and I did my research on this and I had this for probably I want to say two years guys almost close to two years and I really like it it prints your pictures digital um instantly from your phone you just download the app and you can use that for your happy planner um, I think I had it before people started saying they were using it for their happy planner. I wanted it for scrapbooking and so forth. But now you can use it with a app. What is the name of that app called? Yeah. You can use it with an app. So if I can figure out the name of that app, I'll make sure I caption it below. And then in this one, I have my Kodak printer. I didn't do too much research on this. I have had trouble. I haven't used this at all yet. And um, I do plan on using it. And I should have did more research um, when I did this one. Because I heard some people say the sprocket was good. But then it wasn't good. And all the other ones and so forth. Here I have like some Project Life. Or these are We Are Memory Keepers. So these are like the sleeves that you put your photos in. Or your scrapbook page layouts. Let's see if I got one right here. It shouldn't be right here. Oh, it's just got some cards in here. So those are some extra ones. When I saw them at Tuesday morning markdown, um, Michael's markdown, I'll grab them. But I think I have enough right now, so I don't need any more. And then for some reason, I'm always putting things where my cords are. So I picked up two packs of these um, power surges. So it won't be so hard to get to it okay now I'm down here on the floor and again these are just three cube organizers and they're on top of each other and they're not flush because I think of that power um, surge plug in the back over here I have my die cutting machine I got this one I think it's called the Genesis I got this one evolution we are memory keepers this one from Tuesday morning and it was a great price and I hate that I missed out on the one recently that they had. I was just too lazy to go to the store. And um, that would have been a perfect place to put that one. I see where I started painting. And so I'm just waiting for a more high quality um, die cut machine to be at a really low price. What was the name of that thing? I can't even think of the name of it right now. I'm just losing the names of everything. And then over here I have my 6 by 6 paper pads. Um, most of them I get them from Tuesday morning. Michaels if they're on sale. I try not to pick up too many anymore because I feel like I got enough paper. Um, the Target one spot when they have them. And these bins here, the mint green ones, they are from the Target one spot. And I think they are $3. So recently I picked up some of these punches from Hobby Lobby. And I will see if I can link that video as well. This is not the permanent home for these. The bins that they are in are from Walmart. And they may still have these. I know they do at some Walmarts they do and some they don't. I have still seen. They come in a two pack for maybe $3 and some change. And then that is a little um, die cutting embossing machine that came from HSN. And I can't think of the name of that one. In case someone wants to know. Crafter's Companion. So it's a mini one. And then I have like the little die um, embossing folders in there that go with that together. So I do have an idea of how I'm going to do or display my punches. But I'm still working on that. Okay guys. And lastly this section here. I have been going back and forth if I, because I have two 
I have another open cube and I have another scrapbook um, paper ho or paper holder here that I haven't put together and I've been debating if I'm going to add it to this but then what am I going to do with this and yeah so this section going forward I need to um, work on it's going to be my craft area and I'll show you guys that when I'm done but starting at the top I wanted this turn style holder craft holder for my alpha stickers and actually I wanted it for my stamps the see-through clear stamps and I said you know what I have tons of alpha stickers usually when I want to put my name in the front of a planner or write something out I have to go to my sticker organization and sort through them so this way they are already displayed and maybe eventually I'll get one for my stamps but this is from Hobby Lobby and I think it was regular price like 34 and I used either 40 or 50 percent off to get it so I thought that was worth it um, for that then I picked up a open cube this is from Michaels the recollections Hobby Lobby does have some I have not tried theirs and I may try theirs um, their organization craft organization system soon and I just have like some scrapbooks in here these were like in a grab bag so I pay like two dollars or yeah two dollars for them and then this is a scrapbook album when with the recollections hot buy section so when they have 70% off or five dollars or something those are that's when I pick those up this is my only project life binder and um, I'm not great at keeping up with everything but I want to I try to make mental note not mental notes try to make notes in my planner and so forth to remember stuff um, for my boys and stuff then this is totally Tiffany and this is like some storage this is like when you're working on a project when you're working on a project and you don't you need somewhere to store it so these are just like some sleeves and you just stick it right back into your totally Tiffany I got this from Joann's so I haven't picked up another one um, it has handles it did have handles where are my handles at? They fell. Oh, I need to fix that. So it has like a handle that you can slide in and out and take it with you. And I must have took it downstairs one time. I have to fix that. But um, that came from Joann's. And then these, I haven't, have I used these? These are like dividers. So you can put these in here to divide your projects out. I think I picked up two of these. That's why I haven't really used that one and right here are just some papers I think up here I have laminate and sheets and I wanted to put them together because as soon as I when I get I used to use these a whole lot but I haven't had time to craft y'all laminating pouches from Aldi they usually come in this same thing right here they might change up the coloring and I usually like to get them from Aldi because they're $4.99 and I put all of those together there may be some Kodak printer photo paper there and then most of I mainly have paper packs and paper pads I just have a few like sheets I don't have a lot of sheets so I don't have a lot a lot of paper I have enough paper but not like some people do and maybe eventually I will so I try to keep all of the paper packs together and I get them on sale at Tuesday morning or I get them um Hobby Lobby had a good sale recently and so I have that jam packed to capacity so maybe more organization I would maybe put all my florals together or something like that I know I have all of just about all of my paper packs together and lastly guys the bottom drawers this is going to change um, I can go through and show you guys what's in them but it's going to change because I want my um, paper punches to be on display and most of my stamps actually I do have one more thing to show you so I just finished using my glue gun and I'm mad my Martha Stewart glue gun looks like that I left it plugged in guys I know for two days doing a DIY maybe three and didn't even know it guys I can't I can't believe that 
and this trimmer I need to go through and make sure that it still works because I don't think it does and I just had some punches like these punches that were from Dollar Tree um, the tab punch there and the recollections I was gonna do a review on them they're not the best of quality but they get the job done so once I clear these out I have more storage um, later these are like the alphabet punch and also the banner punch from we are memory keepers I think I ordered those from HSN so they come with like extra stuff so that's what like this tape is which I haven't had a chance to use also the fuse tool and I ordered my fuse tool this should be up here from HSN I ordered my fuse tool from HSN and HSN or QVC they always give you like extra stuff and there it is right there so but these fuse papers and envelopes and so forth they came from Tuesday morning so Tuesday morning is a great place to get your items if you're starting to get into crafting to get stuff at a discount price because a lot of things I had to stop going in there because I always found something whereas I needed to get something for the home versus craft stuff so yeah and then um, this is a lot of note pads which that's why I don't pick any up anymore note cards and so forth and um, some notebook paper notebook notebooks themselves so I need to go through that and send them like in friend mail or for my niece. These are some more notepads and page flags and list pads. So that's why I don't pick up those anymore. You guys don't see me haul those too much anymore. Now with these you can take these little dividers out and you don't have to keep these in and make it one big large drawer. So it is versatile. And they also have risers that you can buy that's on Michael's website, but I have not purchased those. I always rather say, oh, I'd rather have a drawer, but it would be really nice to have those little risers to have it off the floor. And then over here, I have like a lot of stuff I picked up from Martha, the Martha Stewart line, I believe. Yeah, the next couple of drawers were from Tuesday morning. And a lot of the punches, I went ahead and took them out. And a lot of stuff, like I use my punches and so forth for also for parties. Not just for like paper crafting and so forth. But I haven't used this one. So I may use this one for like Katrina's graduation. And this one does not have, yeah, where you see it doesn't have all the little things in because I didn't need it and then I don't have a whole lot of die cut so these are really all of the embossing folders either because I'm still a newbie planner um, crafter so I don't have a ton of these but the ones that I do have I thought I had more than that yeah I got them for um, these are the spellbinders die from Tuesday morning again and I like to follow um, dare to be creative she posts hers on Instagram and Kendra 504 Pretty Things. They um, are great at their showing their videos in their pictures on Instagram. So a lot of times I write down, if I'm looking for something, I write down their product number. Call that 1-800 number for Tuesday morning. And yeah, and I find what I'm looking for. So I'm new. Oh. And I should have warned y'all. So that's when I said these are not the best of quality. Because actually when I put this together, this was already broken here. And so I said I just want to buy a brand new one. But you wouldn't even known it. Um, you might cut tell a little bit. But I just have like some punches in here. And I want to display those. So they won't be up there. Uh oh. What in the world? I thought I saw a red light. Maybe it was on my camera. I was like, what in the world? And then here's another drawer of punches. And these were, Marshall's had some, but Tuesday morning had a whole slew of them. So I got these like last spring or, um, was it spring or summer? And there's some more stamps and punches. 
so that is it over here guys again when I find or figure out if it works that system then I will have a I have some free space for all those punches because I like to see what I have but I want it to be all contained and look nice and neat and then over here guys it's kind of dark because my window isn't over here but I have a shoe organizer and my boys school supplies were on here and I had that shoe organizer for years I think I was watching Alejandra um, with the school supplies or that idea but what I decided to do was to get a shoe organizer for my stamps but I do want to put them on some type of shelf but I want to make sure it's sturdy and it's up there because I'm not really um, too handy or anything so these are most of the stamps um, some of the stamps that I got from Hobby Lobby that was on that clearance and that's the only station so it's empty up there and it's empty down there so that is it guys let's see yeah, it's getting dark outside that is it guys for my scrapbook area I will show my craft area next but I asked my husband he's busy with his schoolwork to help me put some things together in this corner and um yeah because but i'll make sure i showed it before so you guys won't know that I always sometimes you think that things are like things are a certain way or perfect in a youtuber's life and it's not that is just how they make it look like on camera and some people it may it very well may be but I live in a house full of men and it's not always perfect because someone told me said hope I know your house looks like so-and-so and I want it to look that way but it doesn't um it doesn't it's not that way so I don't want you guys to think that way but this area was already just about straightened but when I finish everything I will show a before or what this room was towed up from the flow up and um, I'll show my craft um, section too so I'm going to record that right now so I can show that before when I get that corner finish. So thanks so much for watching. I know this video is like super long. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.